Do you know how easy it is to track someone on social networks just by their username? I'll show you how to use Sherlock in Kali Linux to find out where a username exists online and why this is important. Using Sherlock isn't really a problem. It is how you use the information. It is all publicly available. So use the information in a responsible manner. You need to download and install Sherlock. So visit the site sherlockproject.xyz. Visiting the installation page, you will see several tabs with various methods of installing. We are going to be using the GitHub method. Grab the code, but clicking the copy icon on the top right and take this to your version of Linux. Paste the code in your terminal and press enter. It will begin to run and install the application within your current directory. Mine is on the desktop. I clear the screen and run an ls command to show you that the Sherlock project is now good to go. Apologies, but I developed a problem during filming, so I switched to another laptop. Sherlock is good to go here. To begin your search of the internet, type in the following command, python3 minus m sherlock underscore project, followed by the username you are looking for. Use the minus minus timeout one command to improve the speed that it returns its results. This username, user123, is pretty popular on the web, so returns over 200 results on various platforms. You can pick any of these links as a practice. Right mouse click on one and see what the page throws up. We are going to run this command again, but this time I am going to check against one of my favorite internet cybersecurity celebrities, Network Chuck. The guy is a legend and loves coffee like me. It takes a little while, but he is popular I guess. He ends up with 53 results online, so that's still pretty good. Again, we can click on the links, say, try hack me, to see if they are genuinely him. The last one is going to be myself. Now I do not have a large online footprint, so I expect this to be quite small. Okay, so here it goes. Okay, so 15 is pretty small, which is a good thing these days. Due to how dangerous it can be for yourself and even your company, it is good to try and reduce your online footprint a bit. Now is the time to take your internet security a little bit more seriously, so you can avoid moments like this. Don't worry, we have all been there. Relax, the G-Man channel has your back. Thanks for watching this one and try it out. It may just help you out. Like, share and subscribe and tune in for the next video.